Hello everybody and welcome back to me trying to save a puck for a while. Um, or I guess a rubber cylindrical object. Alright, we are here, we are live, and we're gonna check out our lines as we do. Actually the comments are probably on the screen right now, so I should probably chill out for just a second and try to find another way to fill this gap. And I think that that might just do it. Yeah, that's probably long enough. No? Yeah, we're probably mint. Okay, now we can view the lines. We got Nuge, McDavid, and Pujarvi. Great first line. Drysidle, Yamamoto, and Hyman. Very good second line. Our third line. Like, we, have, we just have a good team, but why is Duncan Keith there? Hold on. When did that happen? We have to have injured players, no? Okay, yeah. Dano and Barry's hurt, too. All right. Noted. Duly noted. Interesting. And then instead of calling someone up from the HL, we just put a defenseman on forward. Love to see it. Okay, well... Our defense are actually pretty good, considering Barry's out as well. How long is Barry out for? Is he gone for a while? Can you see it from here? I don't know how to see. You probably have to go to some injury report or some news tab or something that I don't even know exists. So anyway, allow me to go to the goaltenders, where yours truly is apparently the starter at 78 overall. Not going to complain. And then we got Pavel backing us up at 84 overall. Poor guy. And yeah, there we go. So... Um, you see I have one X-Factor there, and I will be getting another ability slash X-Factor. I think you can kind of just adjust them however you want at the end of this year, as long as my teammate-like ability stays above 2,000, which I'm not really struggling with. So we should be good in that regard. I wanted to try and change up the pads a little bit, but like the, the team colors they provide for Edmonton just aren't the team colors, so I can't even really do it if I wanted to, because it just won't be that color, and I don't know how to get that color, so, yeah, sorry, but, uh, we're just gonna kind of rock whatever we got going now, I kind of like the current pads anyway, I'm okay with it, so, yeah, we have an 895 and a 291, we are ever so close to that 900, but again, I do not care, I just want to win games, we are 18, 15, and 5, so we're really not doing that good, I mean, we're not doing bad, but could be better, Anyway, uh, we have the Montreal Canadiens here. Let's sim and see if this game is worth hopping into or not. First period. Oh, good one. All right. That's a solid start. And 4-2. Okay. They have 30 shots. Well, yeah. Okay, let's jump into this one and let's see if we can choke and give Montreal the win. I don't even know when I was given this challenge, but apparently I have to maintain a B-plus grade average over the next... X games. I didn't really look at that. Not X games, like, you know, the, the skateboarders and stuff, like, you know, mathematics X, plug in a number here, sort of X, okay? And, yeah, um, we're up 4-2 right now in the third period. Things are looking good. I feel like I can't focus right now. I just need to give my head a shake and <laughs> hope that I can get back on track. All right, here we go. Here we go. Montreal is entering. No, they're not. Edmondson said... Screw that, and you turned. And now the Edmonton Oilers are in possession of the puck. Oh my word, McDavid has been dropped, and no one is doing anything. You're not going to win a cup like that, boys. Hate to break it to you. Yes, he. I kind of feel like scrapping. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Nuge goes in front. I mean, he was way too close. I feel like there's no way he could have stuffed that in the net regardless. Edmondson gets it over to Hoffman. What are you going to do about it, Hoffman? The Hasselhoff. Ooh, he's going to get pinned by McDavid, who then coughs it up to Suzuki. That's all right, though, because Nurse is there for it and makes a, shall I say, very risky pass in front of the net. Worked out, though, so I will give him credit for pulling it off. Ho Sang. Let's go. That's the first shot of the game. I will save that. Suzuki gets one as well. Another shot up close and personal will be kicked aside by TJ's left mini wheat. Good start to the game. Apparently, I'm Romanov now. I'm just uh, changing up who I am on a game-to-game -game basis. It's not even game-to-game, -game, really, because it changes during the game as well. So, it's more like on a shiftly basis, on a something. But you know what I mean. All right, Dvorak. Oh, nice hit. Cop. He could have shot that, but instead he tried to pass it to Weber, who didn't get anything from it. Oh, nice defense. Good stuff, Edmonton. Ryan Paling. I'm pretty sure he had a like his first game in Montreal. Did he get a hat trick? Is that what it was? 
or maybe it was four goals or something. I know that Matthews got four in his Leafs debut, but then I remember Paling had some incredible debut as well. And yeah, that must have been pretty cool to watch. I don't know if he's done a whole lot since then, though. I haven't really heard much about him after that, but I know that that did happen, and that right there is some free team play, which is going to help us obtain our B-plus average. Oh, speaking of paling, there he is, taking a nulty. boy. Thank you, as a matter of fact, because I need that grade point average, because the NHL does that. You know, we have report cards and stuff. I mean, truthfully, maybe some teams do do that, do-do, um, <laughs> but they might. Maybe some teams actually do have some kind of, like, report card. Uh, maybe not so much for their superstar players. Or maybe they could, because I know that Dallas, even a few years ago, they called out some of their guys that... Oh, my word, my positioning was awful there. Some of their players that weren't really pulling their weight. So, yeah, maybe. I mean, it might not be a report card, but obviously they are watching their players. I'm just curious to see, or I'd be curious to know if any team does sort of use that method. You know, like, actually give their players an A, B... C on their performance. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. All right, Jonathan Drouin, if he gets another shot, I'm going to try to be in better position this time. And once again, I got to try and remember not to come eight miles out of my net because I just tend to do that. I don't know. It feels like it's cutting off the angle, but then I open up for all other kinds of opportunities to get scored on. So I really got to knock it off with that and try to be a little bit smarter with my positioning. But you know what? It's a learning process, all right? And he, I ne clearly never learned when I was Tino Manny. Him and that be a pro was just awful. Um, and by that I mean me, obviously. But I don't know why I'm talking like The Rock right now. But regardless, yeah. Um, I feel like this be a pro has just gone a lot better overall. I feel like I'm learning more and we're just having more success. It's just been a lot more enjoyable. To put it quite frankly. So, oh my word, that was a shot and a half. Get it out. Let's get the puck out here. Oh, I think I got a save for that. I didn't even mean to poke check. I actually just meant to slide. But I guess I accidentally hit like upright maybe. Whoops. What are you doing? How about we don't dance with the puck right in front of the net? Ho Sang has it again. Nice save. Oh, that is gonna go to Montreal again. Ho Sang with it. Yes, he tried to go for the cross crease. That would have been deadly. I don't know if CC would have had him or not. Let's look down. This is what a bench of a losing squad looks like. Face off. Right in front of me. Will McDusty win it? Mm, no, he will not. Ooh, I was not in the greatest position there either, but still managed to make the save. All right, cop with it. Gets it to Dvorak. Montreal is really starting to up the pressure here. They turn that dial up to 11. But you, that will be stopped. And there are three red jerseys. Right in front of me. And not a single Edmonton Oiler. What's up with that? Okay, the crowd meter. <laughs> Man. I, I don't know. I don't really feel for those things at a hockey game. When I go to a hockey game, I'm there to watch hockey. I'm probably in the minority in that. People probably go there to try to get on the Jumbotron and stuff. I just want to go there to watch hockey. So, yeah. That's my main objective. But I guess it does probably draw some people and whatnot. So, I, I get it. Trying to run a business here, you know, Jackie Moon style. Oh, yeah? I like it. Oh, no, he just missed the net. He had it, too. That side of the net was wide open, and he just missed it. All right, good effort, though. Dvorak gonna get crunched. You're joking me. Come on. Come on, Refa Maria. That is not... No. Mm -mm. Well, now we have to kill a penalty. Oh, that was scary already. Please get it down the ice. Attaboy, Darnie. That was a sick clear, too. He really got under that thing. All right, Veselainen. Passes it up, and the Montreal Canadiens are going to try to get back on the attack here, as they are down by two. It is the third period, and they are on the power play. So yeah, they are a team out for blood right now. Nice. All right, Nurse sends it back down again. Good job. That is half of the power play gone already. Jeff Petrie passes it to Suzuki. Cross ice to Drew N, who is going to get folded. Holy crap. Yo, he just got leveled. That was a massive hit. Good stuff. Not giving them any zone entry. Huge. All right, all right. They're in. Vessel line and takes a shot. You're open. I'm going to give that to you. Now dump it. No, what are you doing? You're supposed to dump it. You had one job. You literally had one job. Give it to Darnell. He'll show you what to do. At least we're even strength now, but Montreal is still... Oh, my days. That was close. That was the closest call yet. Suzuki downloaded Drew N. Oh, that's a good goal. 
I tried to get over on time and I was kind of there, but he just sniped me. Yep, I didn't get over enough for that. I'd like to see a replay if possible. If not, I will go and see the replay myself. I have to, I have to do it myself. Of course I do. All right, instant replay. Let's go back. I think I just didn't slide enough. Uh, let's see. He passed it. I sort of read it, but I was a little bit too late and I started coming over. He also just sniped that, to be fair. So you know what? I think even if I was in the right spot, that probably would have still gone in because he put everything into that. So fair enough. Well played. Good goal for the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, man, that would have been huge if we got that right back because now they're only down by one and I would be lying if I said I'm not terrified right now. Nice pass. No! What a save! Are you kidding me? That was ridiculous. Carey Price is an absolute freak of nature. That was just unacceptable. Oh, good try. All right, at least we're killing time here. Final minute of play. We have a one goal lead now. And Montreal has been all over us, to say the least. They have been putting up a lot of pressure. Nice. Just keep the puck in their zone as much as possible. Ho Sang. He is up, and out comes Carey Price. Nice. They swarmed him. They did not let him get anything going. Get the empty netter. Come on, Yessi. He's got it. He's got it. He doesn't got it. Spoke too soon. Romanov up to Dvorak. 30 seconds left in the middle to Suzuki. He actually pulls off a deke. What a mad lad. Doesn't get the shot off, though, because Bouchard gets in the way. Nice. Good job. Win that battle. Don't you dare let them get it. I'm not hugging the post, because... What? Who's getting it? Interference. Wait, did we get it? Oh my word, we got it. Well, that just made things a little bit spicier. Added some ghost peppers to the mix here. 17 seconds left and it is now a 6 on 4. Oh, that is just wide of the net. Yeah, I'm fine. Just glitch the game out. No one go get it. I'm perfectly fine with that. 100%. Nice. That just killed a lot of time. Don't you dare. Don't you absolutely dare. Nice job picking it off. There we go. That's game, baby. Holy, that got way too close for comfort. Atta boy. Edmonton Oilers with a huge W. And that was a pretty solid performance from TJ. 40 shots and a total of 37 saves. Mm-hmm. I will certainly be happy with that outcome. Uh, how did our coach feedback do? Because we need to get a B plus. Oh, we got a B. Yo, B plus is hard, man. Like, give me something realistic here. All right, quick game. It's like, oh, get a shutout. Oh, get a 980 save percentage over the next 32 starts. Like, chill out, man. All right, at this time, everyone will catch you up on what went down and all the action. Please do, James. Please do. Went toe -to -toe on the road against the Canadians. We most certainly Edmonton did. You're not wrong. A little too much to handle in this night. The Islanders were on the road up against the Sabres. The New York Islanders took this one with a strong defensive effort in their own end. Good for them. The Coyotes were in a dogfight on the road against the Blackhawks. Coyotes were in a dogfight. I see what you did there. In a tightly contested affair. That's uh, questionable, James. Break, questionable usage of words. Next. Anyway, let's see him to the next game. Uh, Coach Pratt. What's up? Is he going to tell me that I failed to get the B plus? Probably. Yep. You know what? Absolutely screw you. We are not in for the start against Toronto, who is one position above us. So this is a pretty big game. They also have three less games played. <laughs> That's not good. Anyway, simulate that one. And we get a W. Nice. That is a big dub. We're not in for that game either. I think we took an L. Pretty sure that's an L. Because I think we were at 15 before. So, yeah, that is that. New York Rangers. They are fourth in the league, first period. Nice. Second. Ooh. All right, well, we'll jump into a closer game. Let's just sim that one. Wow, a 30-save performance from Tino Manny letting in one goal. Or <laughs> from Timothy Jimothy. I told you I was going to still mix that up at some point. It was inevitable. Kind of like Thanos, except he was wrong. All right, um, let's skip that segment. So LA Kings, they're not doing so hot this year. They are like third, fourth last in the league right now. Let's go ahead and sim. Not a good first period. Not a good second period. Ah, let's just sim this one. Okay, yeah. Awful performance. Not the showing that we're looking for. There you go. And let's continue. So we have uh, 893 after that one. Atta boy. Stay hot. So that's two games we've simmed now. And we got the Montreal Canadiens here again. 
That is a W. Good job, Pavel. We got the Golden Knights, and we will be starting for this one. Let's see if it's worth jumping into or not. Otherwise, we will just keep simming. Okay, that's a interesting first. Nice. All right, this one's definitely worth hopping into. Okay, here we go. Edmonton Oilers, Golden Knights. Um, no playoffs or anything. I just had a huge buildup for no reason. This is just a regular season game. But regardless, it's coming up next. Actually, this is going to be very old news by the time this comes out. But uh, yeah, so the Golden Knights tried to trade Dadnov, and that just did not work out at all. Uh, the league ended up vetoing that trade, or not so much vetoing as rejecting, because the team that they traded him to, the Ducks, was a part of his no-trade clause, which I guess he created when he signed with Ottawa. And then I think the Golden Knights claimed that they never got that or something. Uh, but regardless, yeah, the league said, nope, not going to happen. You're stuck with them. So Dadnov is still a Golden Knight at this point in time. And I guess they have to activate someone off of IR or something, my friend was telling me, so yeah, they're in a bit of a, a sticky situation right now. They have Stone on IR, and they have someone else on IR as well. I can't think of who it is, but maybe it's Pacioretty. It might actually be Pacioretty. We gotta generate some more offense here. We're already five minutes into this period, and we have not done a whole lot of that. We gotta step it up in that department. Ooh, just wide of the net. And Nurse will be there. To start the breakout up to Leon, who tries to enter the zone, but gets stepped up on by Shea Theodore. Now he's battling Theodore down low. Those two are just going at it. Robin Leonard going to smother it behind the net. Again, is that a penalty? Is it? I don't know if it is. Unless it's specific to our three-on-three -three league, which would be odd. But, I mean, yeah, he reached behind the goal line and smothered it, which... In our league, resulted in a penalty shot. Our three-on-three -three league. So, I don't know if that's actually a thing. Maybe it's just in our three-on-three. -three. Maybe that ref just made it up. Because I believe that we were winning by a fairly substantial amount at the time. So, they're probably just trying to, you know, give the other team a, a chance. Like, nothing extreme. We're not those guys that go and beat a team, like, 16-3 or something. But, yeah, we were up by, like, maybe three or four goals and just kind of chilling and then... The ref was like, ah, I'll throw him a bone. And he most certainly did. But I don't think they actually scored on the uh, penalty shot anyway. So it didn't really matter that much. But, you know, they could have. The opportunity was there. Martinez. Whoa. I thought I would have saved that for sure. It seemed like an easy one. But apparently it wasn't. Dadnov now from the point. Takes a shot that gets through the crowd. Oh, that was dirty referee. Thank you. Absolutely, that's a penalty. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, quick. I want to get off. So I think it helps team play or something like that. Oh, Deneau's back. That's good. And no, nope, that's not what I wanted. I always press the wrong button. Nice pass. Oh, good try. All right. Well, valiant effort. But now we're headed to the power play, which means I get free team play, which I mean, it doesn't really matter too much anymore because I don't have that B plus objective anymore. But next thing you know, they're going to give me like an A plus plus and be like, hey, can you accomplish this this season, please? Thanks. They've given us a gift here, guys. A power play to tie it up. I mean, the kitchen yams everywhere. He takes a shot, and that will be gloved by Robin. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, they, um, this is the team that signed Evander Kane. So we no longer have him, obviously, as you just saw. But, yeah, they are now the team that has Evander Kane. And he did pretty good for us last year. But it is what it is, you know, we gotta use your agent to get the best deal possible. It's also a video game, so you got that as well. That's something to consider. What was that? McDavid, hello? Are you okay? Nice pass, what a goal. Tie game, baby. I saw that coming from a mile away. As soon as McDavid got the puck and Nuge was there, well, it was a 50-50 really. He could have passed it to Nuge or he could have... Tried doing a spinning shot for some reason, which they do occasionally. But no, he passed it over to Nuge, who buries it past Robin Lindner. Power play goal, tie game, great stuff. The Golden Knights center dot is cool and all, but it's kind of distracting, no? Am I the only one that thinks that? Am I a party pooper here? I don't know. Maybe I am, but that is just my opinion. Petrangelo tries to go right up the middle. Stone with it now. Pacioretty, oh my days. Okay, I'm going to pass that over to you. Bad decision. No, I stand corrected. Awful decision. But it ended up working out, and now they're taking another penalty. So you know what? Never mind. 
That was the best decision I've ever made my entire life. All right, nice. I just noticed that my camera has the little battery symbol on it, which means it's not plugged in properly. I see it plugged in there, so now I gotta try and check under the uh, table here to see what's up with all that. Give me the puck. You would. Little skip and a hop right over me, eh? What a pass. Gets it to Yessi. Cross ice. What are we gonna do with it? He's gonna pass it to Hyman. Ooh, that was a interesting attempt, to say the least. All right, let's uh, get that. And, or not. Yeah, you're open on that side. There you go. Pogliarvi picks it up. And I just did a big overskate and had to come back. That's all right, though. Dino! Nice try. All right, well. I mean, both teams have definitely had their chances so far in this third period of play. Don't you dare. I'll give you the puck, but man, at least let me touch it so I can get some team play. Have you seen the coach? He's all over me recently with how bad I'm playing. Four minutes remain here in this contest, and um, both teams locked at one goal apiece. Both getting some decent chances. Nothing extreme, like we haven't seen any breakaways yet or anything of the sort, but... Definitely, both teams are getting some opportunities and shots on net. I'm kind of curious to see how many shots I have. Um, but I guess I will do that after the game. Or, if this ends up going to overtime, I will do it before playing the overtime period. Let's go, Oilers. Come on, boys. Hyman. Gonna give it up to Yamamoto, who gets crushed. All right. Here come the Knights. In over the line. He does a deke. Marcheseau takes a shot. That will be saved by yours truly. And I am not passing that out because he got all up in my grill. We need a draw win here. And we get it. McDavid. Oh, no. All right. It's okay. Still managed to win that battle. The only goal scorer for us in this game. Nugent Hopkins with it. Um, great passing. Honestly. That was a very solid chance from the Oilers. But Robin Leonard is playing very well. Honestly, both goalies are playing very well in this matchup so far. Don't want to, you know, jinx it or anything. But, uh, yeah. Martinez to Chandler. Down low to Forsberg, who's spinning off a few players, but he's going to get rocked. And it looks like he actually got kind of hurt from that. Goal to go Ski. Oh, it's offside. All right. Makes sense. Understandable. 49 seconds to go. Still a tie game here, so we might... See some three-on-three -three action. But let's find out. Another draw win. Yes, sir. Yamamoto. He's in. Nice pass. Oh, so close. That's all right. Eichel with it now. And Dreisaitl. Walks out. Oh, man. Uh, here come the Golden Knights. Patch ready. He is in. Over the blue line. And he takes a slap shot. I think he just hit the side of the net. I'm pretty confident. I didn't even make a save there. I am not hugging the post because, first of all, computers never go for wraparounds, really. Um, like a direct wraparound, I mean. So that is, oh, that would have been so upsetting if that went in. But, yeah, I haven't really seen a computer actually just go for a wraparound. Are they even still in the game? Like, can you do that if you're behind the net? Oh, Yamamoto is just getting bullied this game. But, yeah, are wraparounds still a thing in this game? I don't know. I never really play it, I, other than when I'm a goalie, so... Yeah, I don't know. They probably are. I can't imagine they would take that out, but I guess never really know. All right, three-on-three three action. It is overtime, and uh, no matter what happens here, save percentage is going to be all right, but I would prefer the win. We're getting a point regardless, though, so that is comforting. Here we go. Petrangelo takes a clapper, and now Dreisaitl is carrying it the other way. Are you kidding me? Three-on-three, three, and we've got Dreisaitl and McDavid out there. Is that Barry? Is he back too? It looks like it is. Nice. All right. Our team is coming back together here. Thought they were going to be coming back this way, but they weren't. They are now, however. Patch ready. Going to get hit against the boards. And now Petrangelo with it. Oh, my word. Great interception by McDusty. Oh, yeah? I mean, oh, no? Oh, man. Flying poke check! He got me. He got me. He just did. Well played, Jackery. Well played indeed. I still got third star though. 926 save percentage. They had 27 shots. And uh, two goals. One was overtime, of course. And their goalie, Robin Leonard, is going to get first star for sure. 32 saves on the night. 
And a total of 33 shots, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Thought I could have had him with the flank poke check. I thought wrong, clearly. And let's see what James has to say about tonight. Right, lots of wild happenings on the yeah. ice tonight. Let's take a look at some of the scores. McDavid, you shouldn't be the upset. Well, maybe he's upset at himself because he basically caused that Knights. giveaway. Vegas parties it up in the extra frame as they get the OT oh, winner. Oh, party it up, eh? Now we're stereotyping. Rough shot over the Flyers. Chicago takes this one thanks to a beautiful performance. All right, well, for the shutout win. I'm going to zip up James real quick here by simming to the next game. And I will simulate this one. Obviously, we're not going to jump in because we need to sim two more games here. All right. Oh, my word. James, get out of here. All right. 3-3 three, three, heading into three. And okay. Amazing. Wonderful. They got an empty netter, actually. So it wasn't that bad. But still, the 900 save percentage is just not there. But more importantly, the L is there. And we don't want it to be. Sim to next game. Are we in against New Jersey? Yes, we are. Sim this one. Bada bing, bada boom. We're 19th in the league. Yo, we suck. We might not make the playoffs. Should I ask for a trade? Bruh. Oh, my word. Oh, what a third period. All right, just for you guys, I'm jumping in. We'll get we'll get some overtime action in here. I'm going for that. I'm absolutely skating out for that. Gimme. Ah, <laughs> McDavid beat me to it. I mean, of course, it's McDavid. He's going to beat me to that. But... Anyway, it probably would have went sour if I ended up picking it up anyway. I'm not totally opposed to him beating me to that. Nice try. All right, boys, come on. We need a better OT than my last one. Nice effort already. We are getting lots of opportunities. Dougie will pick it up. And he carries it up the ice in over the blue line. He takes a shot that for some reason really threw me off. Hughes with it now. And I am not budging off this post. Nope. Not gonna happen. He was like doing all the pump fakes and everything. And I just remained a complete statue. Dry sidle. Nice effort. Goes back to Barry. McDavid with it now. Getting attacked by two lads. Dry sidle. Manages to get past one. Takes a shot. McDavid on the rebound. He still can't bury it. Come on, guys. Barry, point shot. And Blackwood will get that as well. And he actually passes it out. What a beauty. I just really don't want this to go to a shootout. That's my one ask. Hamilton with it in the mitten. Pass it over to you. Yes, he. Gonna curl back. Oh, my word. He's gonna lose it, isn't he? Thank you, McDavid. No. Not like this. Oh, that was scary. Hamilton with it. He takes a shot. Uh, I'm just, yeah. I'm not passing it out anymore. We got about a loony left here in this overtime period. And, I mean, we haven't been getting a whole lot going recently. It's been all New Jersey for the last little bit. There we go. That was a good shot. And now Damon picks it up. Oh, that was a bit of a scary hit. Maybe. Maybe not. Might be overthinking it. But Yarvi does a couple deeks. And Blackwood will make the stop there. Come on, boys. I don't want this to go to a shootout. But that also doesn't mean give them a breakaway. Which they appear to be trying to do. I'm going for that. No, I'm not going to get it. The Nuge will, however. 30 seconds remaining. Pugliarvi. Nice try, nice try. Oh, dude, this is stressful. I really don't want to shoot out. And I also don't want to let in a goal. I would really prefer if the boys get an overtime goal here. But it looks like time is expiring on all of that. So, um, yeah, not too confident that's going to happen. Oh, no. Okay, it's definitely not going to happen now. But New Jersey sells an opportunity. Severson to Brat. That will be saved. And that's probably going to be the go home cue. Yep. It is time for a shootout. Oh my. So they ended up with 40 shots. Nice. They actually did get quite a few in that overtime. So that helped. But uh, it is time for a shootout. Leon. He's in. Nice try. I like it. I respect it. Good effort. All right. Now we have to make a save. On Hughes. Will I be able to do it? Probably not. Nope. No, I will not. And he's going to headbutt me too. That is just complete disrespect. Come on, McDavid. McDavid. Ooh. That was gross. That was actually disgusting. And he gets the... Um, oh. I guess the X Factor even works in uh, the shootout. That was such a good move. Okay. Nico. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Flying poke check. Really? Really? Well, if we miss this, we lose now. That is unfortunate. 
Has not been a great showing from me. That's for sure. All right. Well, that's an unfortunate L. We do get a point out of it, though, you know? And they ended up having quite a few shots in overtime, which helped our save percentage there a little bit. But I think that's about it. I will quickly uh, show you guys all the right, statistics. All you poolies and all you hockey fans. All you poolies. What does that even mean? Action out on the ice tonight. The Oilers were looking to steal two I'm skipping that. You know what, James? How about you just zip it for a while, huh? Sim to next game. We are in against the Winnipeg Jets. We are 18th in the league. Oh, man. I don't want to leave this team yet, but I don't know. Things are looking not great. I'm going to be honest. Let's go to the Stat Central and have a peek here. So, McDavid has 49 points in 48 games. He has slowed down a bit. Uh, the Nuge is almost point a game. Drysaddle has 40 and 48. Uh, Playarvi with 32. Yamamoto, 30. There you go. All right, I'll just show you all the stats there. And if we go to our goaltenders, both of them, not great. That's uh, one way to put it, okay? Well, honestly, the games that I jumped into, I felt like I played solid, you know? I let in a total of two goals and then two shootout goals, which those don't count. Come on now. But yeah, that's about it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, we need to turn things around here. We are... Over halfway through the season, and we are 18th in the league. Which, actually, you know what, though? You know what, though? Our division was complete trash. Let's see if it's still really bad, because that's our one shot at uh, making it in. Okay, so we are still third in the division, because our division is struggling mightily this year. So that will definitely play to our favor. All right, noted. Good stuff. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you, and I will likely be seeing you soon.